Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We have eight most disturbing phone calls. Oh, uh, no, nah, you only get one time around here. Oh, uh, eight most disturbing phone calls ever received. Hello? Uh, excuse me, damn. <laughs> I'm not. What if you receive? What if you receive a phone call to somebody? You'd be like, hello? Why is your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Too much, you know, care for scary movies like that. Hey, what about like romance or something? We could talk about that, you know. I don't really want to say that. I, I know, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Be like, I'm not a scary movie type person. Now, you, you talk about sport, you want to go to a sport event. We go, we talk about we, we go to a hockey game. Baby, you can get beat up on ice. I'm the wrong person to call. <laughs> With that being said, before we get into it, man. Make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go. If you want to further support, all you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Lock it in with a thumbs up. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see what's about, y'all. A few summers ago, my old phone of two years began ringing. I had a new one, but my old one rang. I had to dig through my closet to even find it. A private number was calling the phone. I answered it, thinking it could have been an old friend who didn't have my new number yet. It was still, it didn't die. Why do, why do, if you, if you don't, you're not using it, right? You haven't used it in two years. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck would you still, unless, because he ain't talking about house phone because he said he got a new phone. But it'll die though. Like yeah. Yeah. So why are you keeping the charge if you're not expecting it? And why is it? Why he said he had to dig through his closet to find it. And why does it still have service? <laughs> Fake story already. Fake story it's okay. already. I'm why would you still have it on? This is story time. Let's be real. Why would you still have it on if you ain't used it in two it's years? Story time. Use your imagination. Come on. Never. But it was a man with a strange accent I didn't recognize. He knew my name, knew my story, knew where I lived, etc. I was genuinely worried, so I asked him how he got all this information. He said we had met the night before at a house party, which I was at one, but I was with my friends, and I wasn't even drunk. I remember the whole- My bad, I'm over here laughing in my head, because he said, <laughs> when he said, I wonder how he got all my information, I said, he called, he called to you about your car <laughs> Ain't nothing serious. <laughs> the story ain't serious, mm -hmm. bruh. And you already I, got too much evidence to de debunk the story. Stay off Reddit with this bullshit, <laughs> bruh. Like, mm -hmm. like, let's be real. Stay off Reddit, bruh. Like, this fake as hell. Well, kinda. Let's go. This is Reddit calling. I want to call you about your car and steal the warranty. Shut up and let's get into it. I'm trying. Party, which I was at one, but I was with my friends, and I wasn't even drunk. I remember the whole night. We went back and forth for a few minutes, when he told me to meet him down by the river in five minutes and hung up. I knew exactly where he meant. I'm not usually easily intimidated, but this had me panicking. Stop! I'm not trying! Oh my god! I'm not trying, but I need to get it <laughs> Yo! I'm all of it sitting down by the <laughs> Yo, y'all, please. Bro, why? Why do I have such a childish mind? Yes, you do. Bro, meet me down by the river. They hung up. Yo. Get it out, please. See, it's stupid, bro. Yo, allow me to get it out. I need why to get we it out. No, 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 no. Why are we even discussing this, man? It's so much. I'm sorry. 
I'm not usually easily intimidated, but this had me panicking. I asked my friends who went to the party with me if they were playing a prank, and they told me they were being serious about it not being them. I knew they were being genuine too because they all offered to show up to the river with me to see who it was. There were five of us that went. We pulled up at a distance and slowly started walking to the spot described over the phone. It was dark and hard to see anything, but on the other side of the riverbank we could all see a white van with tinted windows parked on the side of the road. It wasn't on, but it was still weird because no one ever parked here. There was no reason to, there was nothing nearby. We started walking up to it, and that's when the engine started and the headlights turned on. We all turned, running into a field where it couldn't follow us. Did this have anything to do with the phone call? I can't be sure, but I personally think it did. Look at this up. I recently listed my PS3 for sale on Craigslist. It came with a ton of games, and I wasn't asking for much, so I got calls all the time. This time, I got a call in the complete dead of night. It was like 3.30 a.m. when I woke up to my ringtone. Yeah, I would get a lot of calls, but I had never gotten one this late in the night before. Mm. I was still half asleep when I picked up the phone. Immediately, this normal sounding guy started talking to me. He said he was calling about the PS3 I listed and offered something crazy like $5 for the whole thing. I mumbled something about how that was way too low. It went silent for a few seconds when out of nowhere this text-to-speech robotic sounding voice started listing off extremely personal information, way more than what was public on my Craigslist account. It listed where I lived, the school I went to, the car I drove, the names of all my family members, and a lot of other stuff. I sat up panicked and hung up the phone. I got an immediate call back from the number, but this time I didn't answer. Just something about the way it switched from a normal sounding guy to all of a sudden a text to speech voice still freaks me out. Thankfully nothing else ever happened. I have no idea how this guy was able to get my personal information. This happened. I see why y'all be on Reddit. Y'all most of us would never make it. We ain't making that the hood with them. <laughs> Can you stop? Bruh, you can are, they like, stop? making me laugh, and yeah. I'm not like, you know. Can they stop, bro? Like, too many <laughs> of. They telling their story. No, too much of their shit can be debunked. Now, that last one, that, that's a that, possibility. That's a possibility. That first one, bro, like, what movie, what scary movie are you trying to write? Y'all go to the, y'all go to the, what you say, down by the river? Y'all went down by the river. <laughs> you and your friend. Five of them, yep. Why the fuck when I was going to go down by the river with you and somebody trying to get your ass? Well, I'm going to sign up for the Y'all, y'all, it's y'all better together. I mean, y'all stronger why together. I, why would I sign up for the bullshit? We don't know if he got a gun. We don't know if he's going to spray it down. Oh, that's it true. Could be, it's it such a nice time. It could be Jason. The hell, Jason is slaughtered more than five at one time. So what the fuck we going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying be realistic. So as I would have came back, <laughs> story fake. <laughs> Keep it moving. Now this real sh situation happened. I wouldn't, right? I would, yeah. I wouldn't and have just, went anyway. Then just uh, right across the river, there was a white van. It's always a white van. <laughs> We're boarded up windows. It's always that white van. Are like, you act like kidnappers ain't got no gray van, black van, but they always got a white van. Don't be white. Bro, that'd be all type of colors, bro. We just see a oh, minute. Blue. That the one we saw, what's called was blue though. <laughs> the one everybody talked about, it was blue. That's all you said, time. I was 13 and home alone. I got a phone call. I was greeted with a man's voice. Hi, I sell security systems. Are your parents home? Yeah, I replied home. saying no. Does your house have a security system? Again, I said no because it didn't. The phone line went dead. I quickly realized my mistake and checked the locks on all the doors and windows. 
After I made sure everything was locked, I grabbed a kitchen knife and locked myself in my bedroom. My bedroom had a window that faced outside the front of the house. I live in a cul-de-sac, but since it was a work day, none of my neighbors were home. Still, there was a car I didn't recognize parked down the road. I called the cops and kept my eyes on it while I waited for them to show up. Suddenly, a man ran out of a bush just in front of our house and towards the car. He got in and immediately drove off. I saw all of it. When police arrived, I told them about the man and showed them the bush he was hiding in. The bush was just under our house's dining room window. There were clear marks of someone trying to break into it. Now that story can be real. That could be, yeah. Now that could be a real story, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. That move, that maneuver, but how would he get the phone number though? Uh, depending on the times, he could know the address and look it up in the phone mm -hmm. book. So that's a, it's a possibility. Good chance of possibility that being a real story. And honestly, on a thief behalf, that's smart as fuck. Call the house, see if somebody gonna pick up the phone. What you looking at? You said call the house and see what? If somebody gonna pick up the phone. Yeah. And if somebody pick up the phone and answer the phone, all right, somebody in them up. If it's a child, and I think I kind of got a one up on him, I might take him I'm saying. Yeah, if he was, yeah. As a thief. Yeah, that's, I know. Criminal. I would hope that, yeah. I don't like how you're looking at me. In my early teenage years, and had just recently gotten my first phone, I got a call from an unknown caller. Nowadays, I'm much more cautious in answering these, but back then I didn't fully understand the concept of phones and answered to pretty much anyone that called. I picked up and instantly didn't recognize the voice. It sounded like an older man. I said, who is this? To which he responded, I didn't answer because I thought it was some kind of joke or prank call. He suddenly broke the silence, saying, I can see you. I responded with something like, nice try, but that's not very original. Just then, I began to hear a train going by. My house is right next to a set of train tracks, and I swear, over the phone, I could hear the same sound of a train passing in the background. As it got closer, the sound got louder in the phone. I panicked and hung up. Nothing further ever happened. This was either a huge coincidence, or I really was being stalked. Mm. It could be a Around 30 years ago, I was lying in bed trying to fall asleep beside my wife who had fallen asleep a few hours before. It was lightly raining outside, which helped me get to that state of half awake, half asleep, when the phone on the nightstand just beside me started ringing. I slowly sat up and picked up the receiver to determine if it was a fluke or an actual call. Stuff like that used to happen back then. I put the phone to my ear and sat in silence as I listened. It was just white noise. Until eventually I could make out two voices, two female voices. They were talking about a murder that had just occurred. I remember one of them going on about how they couldn't believe they had really just done it. This was followed by the other telling her to, quote, get out of there before the police arrived. They continued talking like this for a while as I just sat there still trying to process what I was hearing. Suddenly, one of the two asked the other if they heard someone else on the line. And with that, I hung up. Mm. I still don't know how something like this could have even happened. Maybe it was a prank call, back before prank calls were even really a thing. I told my wife about it the following morning. Mm. Is that even possible for phones back in the... What? Like being able to like, like trans, like get a phone call, because obviously they were calling, calling each other, but your phone intercepted the phone call in wrong on your head. I don't, I'm saying I don't Has know. Has that ever happened to you? Hell no. Oh. Have you? Has it ever happened to you? Yeah, like, yeah. You're talking about on the house phone. Yes, that's what I was like, yeah. You picked up the phone and somebody, whole other conversation you hear. I, I, <laughs> I promise you, people used to call my grandma house, like, back in the day. Mm -hmm. They used to call, and, like, you, like, other, like, other conversations was coming through. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're like, talking about, at that part, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But not oh, like have you ever have you ever dealt with it where like you can hear like like uh cell phone like you be on your cell phone and you, say for instance you're in a restaurant mm-hmm. and then you can kinda of pick up the them on the intercom with at the restaurant? I have. Oh no. I like don't. like picking up the real it sound like a bunch of feedback and you're like Oh no, I don't think so. Yeah. But yeah. with the house yeah, like calls used to That's crazy. I, used to, I thought that was weird. I might day, have heard but that before. I'm pretty sure you probably have. I it didn't happen have. often. Yeah, yeah, Like, it was like every blue moon. But I was never the one really on the phone much anyway. You know what I'm saying? I used to... It was my mom and my sister always. I used to maybe my mama would answer the phones. And I believe my sister used to be there. I was like... I used to say everything she said. Oh, God. And I used to commit because my mom put on her little white voice. Oh, <laughs> like, just I mean, say, just say proper. Man, you know, growing up, kids be like, just putting on that little white word. She, I said, it must be a beer cup. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time staying home alone while my whole family was out at my brother's baseball game. I was 13. I was on the phone with a friend of mine when someone beeped in on the other line. I told her I'd be right back and clicked over lines. I gave a hello. There was a laugh, and then the words, I'm downstairs in your basement right now. Honestly, I just shook it off and hung up thinking it was a prank call. Our neighborhood was pretty safe, and so I figured it had to have been someone just messing with me. I resumed talking with my friend when they beeped in again, so I again clicked over. This time I was met with much more aggression. The voice said something about how I shouldn't have hung up on him and how he was coming upstairs. Suddenly, the lights downstairs started flickering and there was a banging under my feet. My dog ran to the corner of the living room. Now, our basement was actually just an area connected to the garage. It wasn't finished. I heard what sounded like footsteps coming up the garage stairs that led into our kitchen, accompanied by yelling. I kept trying to hang up and call the cops, but every time I tried, he was still on the phone. I managed to switch back to the line with my friend and told her to get her parents to call the police. I sat in a locked bedroom on the main floor horrified, quietly crying waiting for them to arrive. They finally showed up, by which point the man was gone. Mm. There was no sign of forced entry, though the window on our outside garage door had been broken for months prior, and my guess is he used that to get in. My family was ultimately skeptical, as police couldn't really come up with any solid evidence that this had actually happened. We did end up getting a security camera and fixed our garage window not too long after that though. But I still don't know if they truly believed me or not. This was back when I still had an old slider phone. One day I got a random call asking for some girl named Sarah. I didn't even know a Sarah, so I told them they had the wrong number, to which they hung up without saying another word. For the next few months, I would get these same calls asking for Sarah maybe once or twice a week, sometimes at absurd hours in the night. This one time I got a call. Like usual, I said I didn't know Sarah. They hung up, but this time I went to my contacts and hit redial. After I did this, I was met with the robotic voice saying the number did not exist. I went back through my call history and tried calling some of the other numbers that had called me, with the same result. The next time I got a call asking for Sarah, I said, Oh yeah, she's right here. The person on the other end didn't hang up right away, but instead said, No, she isn't. And the line went dead. After this, I started getting calls now from unknown numbers. This time there was no voice asking for Sarah. It was just silence until I said something, and they would hang up. The creepiest one I ever got was the time they didn't hang up right away after I said hello. I could hear someone on the other end, breathing, but not saying anything. There was just something really uneasy about all these calls. It caused me to get a new phone, Mm -hmm. after which I stopped getting the weird calls. I still don't know who this Sarah was, or why I kept getting calls about her. I ain't no telling what that one's about, though. Yeah. Like, that could have been a, a plethora of things. Could have been somebody who know that Sarah had that number previously before. Mm-hmm. 
or has, and has done something to Sarah just to see if anybody's looking for her that said, hey, yeah, you know, like, or hey, we haven't heard from Sarah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you, you never really know what their agenda is. True. Like, because I, I hate getting no call. Maybe like I'll be like, bro, quit calling me. Huh? You know, you know damn well this ain't this person number. You remember when they used to always call me talking about some repairs? She don't. I know you used to get text messages. No, I used to get phone calls and they used to leave voicemails. Mm. And I used to read the voice. Oh, that woman that used to call. Who? Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. And she'd be like, I, I got a leak. Something mm, going on something. at the house, and I'd be like. Shorty call the right folks, bro. Like it'd be like they once every three months. Number. It'd be like once every three months she call him one or one or some feast around the house. She probably she that's probably she she a little older. And they probably gave her the wrong number. She wrote it down wrong or something. Bless her heart. I hope she found the right person. For real. Cause she ain't called in a while. Hey, it's been a minute. <laughs> I was home alone by myself in my basement bedroom. I was playing games late into the night. It was like 3 a.m. when our house's landline started ringing. I didn't pick it up. It rang several more times, and finally the voicemail picked up as I was walking up the stairs to finally answer it. I would have dismissed it as a prank call if it hadn't been for the voice. It was shaky and raspy. It felt real. I was frozen in place halfway up the stairs listening to it. The voice was trying to get me to pick up the phone, saying things like I would regret it if I didn't. Finally, it ended, and I prayed that it wouldn't ring again. It did. The person left several more voicemails. They started out timid and shaky, but got more aggressive. It continued with, if you don't give me what I want, I'm going to have to hurt you, and I need to get what you owe me. I'm coming for you right now. At the end of each of them, the dial tone went off, and it went staticky as the voice broke into sobs. They kept calling and calling. This experience truly disturbed me. I mean, imagine being home alone in the middle of the night and hearing this voice coming from an upstairs phone. Nothing ever came of it, though, and so I never told anyone else about it. Y'all kids be experiencing everything, huh? I ain't experienced nothing like that growing up. Mm. Wanted somebody to run up in my house. Run up, get done up, ho! I'm telling you, man. Straight up. Straight like that. Run up, get done up. How you? You I feel can. the same way? What your motherfucker would. Don't play on my phone. These daytime minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you used to play on the phone? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you, you never like prank call anyone? No, 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 no. Ain't no point. Ain't no point doing all that. Yeah, okay. What you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you childish like that. I mean, my cousin used to. But a lot of these stories, man, could be 100% easily debunked, man. That's uh, not being true, for sure. But with that being said, y'all spend most up in the comments. Let us know y'all thoughts about it in the comment section for us down below. But as always, y'all know how it go, man. I have to go by the name DJ Nikita. This is we are we out. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me.